Well, Greg, a 3-1 defeat today in a, in a game that you were well into it for most of it. Yeah, disappointing. I felt that, uh, you know, a lot of the times uh, the game was even. If not, we had a, a good possession. I felt that they had a lot of possession around the back. We had more possession high up the thirds and probably created more of the chances second half. Yeah, so a difficult one to take. The first goal was a bit of a killer, another, another set piece. Yeah, you know, it's... it's it's getting very frustrating, I think, to concede so many from set pieces. You know, I think that we do, we, we have switched off uh, for the first time in the, in, in the game, really. And yeah, I would say it's not, it's not acceptable that someone can be wide open to score that goal. But yeah, a difficult one again to take, you know. You came back into it, another fantastic goal from Cole Stockton. And that's perhaps the frustration again, because you are scoring goals, you're playing good football. But just the fine lines, it's just getting the wrong side of. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think that in football, when mistakes are made, it's often difficult when you are punished for them. And I feel like at the moment, we're just getting punished for every single mistake. You know, there's a lot of things that happen in the games. There's a chance that they've, ha that we, they've conceded where literally we've got a, a tap in at the back stick and just hasn't fallen for us, where with them, everything seems to do at the moment with whatever opposition we are playing. So it's difficult. Um, but like, like the gaffer says, law of averages, things hopefully will even themselves out. But we definitely have to do more in and around the box to stop those things happening. League One is a pretty unforgiving league, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You know, a lot of the lads are very well versed in League One, and you know, when you do make those errors, a lot of the times you will be punished for it. But uh, like I say, I think that it's important that we gather ourselves together and, and realise that we've got a lot of the play, a lot of the, the performances that we need. It's just those fine margins. Genuinely, it's those fine margins that I think if we put right, we'll be a different side. But like I said, we've got to look at ourselves and, and make sure those fine margins are, are put right. The gaffer's mentioned just need a bit more steel as well. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. You know, maybe in and around the box, the difference is being prepared to put the body on the line. But I think there's also times in the game where we did put our body on the line, but it's, it's every time it needs to be, you know, the gaffer's right, it needs to be every time. It needs, can't just be once or twice or even three times. It has to be every time to stop the ball going in the back of the net. And, and yeah, he's right. And it's something that we need to find within ourselves as players. Another game now in a couple of days against Cambridge at home. It becomes quite an important game now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But I, I think definitely, like you spoke to a lot of the lads, it's important. It's nice to have an opportunity to put it right as, as early as this. You know, that's why it is League One football. It's Saturday, Tuesday, it's back to back. And it's important that we, yeah, like I say, it's, it's definitely an important, important game. But <coughs> yeah, with the teams in and around us, we've got to get those results. And we really have to start imposing our game on people that are in and around us because I feel like we do play good football against your Plymouths and your Oxfords who are up there in the league you know but it's important that we impose our game onto our other teams who are in and around us and show that we're, we're better than they are and get the results What about yourself? You're getting a bit of a run in the team now and hopefully injury free for a while? Yeah, you know, I think it, I mean the last injury I got after the crew game was a real phenomenon. I know obviously it looks like my history is just littered with injuries but it hasn't actually been as a uh, as as it seems, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I definitely want to try and put a run of, a run of games to, to, in the team now uh, and try and just get my fitness levels going, my drive going and, and see if I can just continue putting put what I believe is to put performances in, in, on the pitch. And international recognition as well for Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a really exciting one for me. But like I said, we've got two more games before that happens. So obviously looking forward to that but at the same time I want to you know, do a good job here and, and make sure that we get some results you know because I think that the lads will come, came today hoping right, we'll get the result uh, we haven't done that so there's two more games to go out there and teams in and around us to, to, to go out and get results so for me my focus is here now international is obviously really great really important and I'll focus on that when the time comes <laughs>